What up, y'all? It's your boy, Martin. Welcome to the Truth and Absolute channel, where we speak the truth and nothing but the truth. So help me, good God almighty. All right, y'all, so I haven't made a boxing video in a bit, but I was uh, listening to a podcast, a podcast clip on my way in from work, and I just had to make a response to it. You know, you make responses to these high-profile high people. In reality, they're never going to know you exist, right? My goal is to reach the people that listen to it and are super influenced by it, right? So Andrew Tate, I have nothing against Andrew Tate. I think, you know, he makes me laugh quite a bit. We actually agree on a lot of the same things. I personally don't think he's a bad dude. I know they label him as something, but I know he has a lot of pull with people. He was on the PBD podcast. And uh, I like watching the short clips. I, I don't got the patience to listen to a three-hour podcast. It's probably worth it. I love PBD. I think he's a, a stand-up dude. I admire him quite a bit. But the title of the video was from talking about Andrew Tate was from atheist to Christian to Muslim, right? So it got my attention right away. I have a thing for apologetics. When people start talking about that, I want to hear what they have is what they have to say. <clears throat> so Andrew Tate went from atheist to Christian to Muslim. He said that the reason that he went Christian is because there's so much evil in the world, in the world that there has to be an equal good to oppose it. Not a good take on why you would come to Christianity, on why you would believe in God in the first place. Something to oppose bad. Um, but that kind of lets me know, like, okay, uh, he does not have an... It kind of lets me know he doesn't have a lot of knowledge in the Bible and not that knowledge was what you need to get saved. But I'm just saying to have a relationship with Christ, you have to get to know Christ. You have to get to know his word. And that just doesn't equal up. You know what I'm saying? That just doesn't. The, but you don't open the Bible and say, you know, in this book exists a power through God exists a power that could counter evil. It's It has that's it's beyond. That sounds like a great movie, Hollywood movie, but it's just not the truth. So he says that's how he started his, his Christian walk. And then he said he turned to Islam because in his eyes, Islam was the last true religion of the world because of its intolerance and because a lot of people fear Islam. They fear Islam, obviously. If you know the teachings of Islam, you will see that it's not a religion of peace. And I'm not talking about the Muslim people. I'm talking about the teaching of Islam itself. Okay. Muhammad is more of a warlord, a, uh, an angry politician than a man of God. I'll get to that in a second. So Andrew Tate was saying pretty much that he likes how people fear Islam. He likes how in Islam, you got to earn God's respect. Mind you, to earn his respect, in my opinion, if you say you're earning his respect, you're almost making yourself an equal to God. What do you mean earn his respect? He's saying how, you know, in countries like Saudi Arabia and stuff like that, that they don't tolerate a lot of things. LGTB, Q, all that kind of stuff, the different things that we see in America that are very tolerable, right? Mind you, in other countries, we're viewed as a Christian nation. We know that the founding fathers brought Christian values into our country, but we are not a Christian nation in the sense of you have to follow these laws. Obviously, it's a land of the free. Much like God gives us free will in America, it's the land of the free. So when he was saying this, he was saying how he did not like Christianity no more. He walked away with it because the Christian God is not feared, right? That was one of the things he said. He said, how is it that in America we tolerate all these people, these bozos that go on and they mock Jesus, making him gay on the cross, making gay shows about him, doing all these things, and how do we tolerate it? He said that we don't protest. He said we don't do this. He said we don't do that. Now, this is where I counter that. In the Bible, there was a, an instant where the Roman guards came to get Jesus after Judas betrayed him. And instantly, Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, drew a sword and he cut the ear off of one of the servants of the Roman guards, right? And Jesus looked to Peter and he said, put your sword away. He who lives by the sword dies by the sword. In other words, God does not need us to defend him. That being said, when someone speaks wrongly of Christianity against it, it's good for us to speak up. But to do it by force, we are not supposed to do that. God does not call us to be soldiers physically opposing battles on everyone that opposes Christianity. That's not what his teaching is. The, who am I to defend God Almighty? What could I possibly do, right? I too have sinned against God just like the next person has. Who am I to all of a sudden wage war against them? How do I bring people to Christ that way? 
in Islam, it's not tolerable, right? It's not tolerable. You go to certain places under Sharia law, if you talk bad about Muhammad, if you talk bad about Allah, they don't think twice. If you oppose any of his teachings, they will kill you. LGBTQ can't be open in their country. They'll kill you. You can't be a Christian. You can't be Jewish in those places. They will kill you. You can't leave um, Islam. They will kill you, right? And that's what he's talking about, This that they're intolerable. But let me tell you all the difference. If you guys have kids, you'll understand. If I send my kids, take my kids to a place, let's just say like Saudi Arabia, where they pretty much have no choice because it's not tolerated, right? They have to pray five times a day. They have to peace be up on Muhammad and all that kind of stuff. They have to do it because it's punishable. How much do they really love God? How much do they really respect God if it's they, have, they have no other choice, right? How much love is there? They have a fear of the repercussions, but that's not saying that they love God, right? I could fear something and not love it. Those are two whole different things. As Christians, we have a fear of God because we know what God could do to us, right? We know the power of God. Therefore, we fear God. We respect him to the utterly most because we know of God's power. We know of God's grace. We know he has the ability to give and the ability to take away. God is not a warlord. Where you go to um, in Islam, Allah is something totally different. Muhammad is something totally different. It's intolerable. They don't tolerate it. It's either follow us or die under Sharia law, right? Those are two whole different things. The God of the Bible gives us a free will. I'm not supposed to be forced to follow God. If I'm forced because otherwise I could lose my life, I could lose my family, how much love is there? How much choice on my end is there, right? If it's by force that I'm doing it, then my heart could very well not even be with God. My heart's not with God. I just don't want them to kill me, right? Those are two whole different things. So when Andrew Tate was saying this, I don't think he obviously didn't know what he was talking about when it came to Christianity. And I'm not one to defend Islam, but I don't even think he's too familiar with what Islam teaches. He liked the force of it. He liked the fear part of it. But he wasn't really talking about its teachings. So the reasons that he gave to why he switched from Christianity to Islam are bogus. He's following his own heart is what he's doing there. That spirit that he's following is the spirit of a type of Muhammad. It's an aggressive spirit. I'm not talking about masculinity, all that nonsense, uh, aggression, like it's a bad thing. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying that using that force, that fear, he made a comment that he's going to move or he already moved his kids to a place like Dubai where all the LGBTQ and all that is intolerable. Let me tell you something, though. It's not about taking your kids completely out of that situation. It's about your kids knowing to make the right decision regardless of where they're at or their circumstance is what it's about. Before y'all jump on the ship, because I saw a lot of comments on that PVD video where a lot of people were like, oh, I'm a Christian, but this, this and that. I'm a Christian, but this, this and that. Listen, listen, don't take Andrew Tate's for it, word for it. Don't take anybody's word for it unless it's a teacher someone, a respected evangelist. If you want to get to know God, stop taking other people's words for it. Stop just basically going off of your opinions and take a look for yourself. All right. Anyhow, comment down below. Every time I make a video like this, I get a lot of people attacking. I'm open for y'all. Whatever questions you may have, whatever, drop it down below. Let's have a conversation. Much love to y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.